Hello. It's been suggested by many people, including psychologists, teachers, and stationery suppliers keen to sell you another notebook, that a good way to have a positive attitude is to keep a gratitude diary or write five things that make you happy each day. Psalm 126 shows us an even better way, one that allows for the reality that life won't always be easy and one that allows not only looking backwards with joy, but forward with hope. Let's read Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we rejoiced. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses in the Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. As the Israelites travel up to Jerusalem to worship the Lord, they carry on singing their songs. And this one speaks of the ups and downs of life, and it's divided into two distinct parts. In the first part, they remembered with joy. They said, do you remember when things were so good they seemed dreamlike, when we laughed and shouted for joy? They remembered what had happened, but importantly, they remembered also who had caused it to be so good. And they said, the Lord has done great things for us. They rejoiced and as they did so, they worshiped the Lord. In the second part, they looked forward with hope. Things are more of a struggle now, with tears and weeping and a downturn in fortunes. But having remembered the great things that the Lord has done in the past, they're now able to pray with confidence, restore our fortunes, replace tears and weeping with joy, not ignoring or avoiding what is happening, but trusting that the Lord would take them through the time of hardship into a better place. Some of it might happen immediately, like a riverbed suddenly filling up in the wet season. Some of it may be much slower, like planting seed and waiting for it to grow and produce a harvest. But either way, they can look forward with a sure hope. As one writer says, they can treat miracles of the past as measures of the future. It doesn't take much of a leap to learn from this psalm. This two-part psalm reminds us that like the Israelites, we can have joy and hope, even in times of trouble. Times like this spur us to pray, but this psalm encourages us also to remember, and especially I think it encourages us to remember together, to tell each other about the good things we remember, to tell each other about the things that happened and remind each other the Lord has done great things for us. Not just so-called spiritual things like answers to prayer or when we became a Christian, but all the good things we remember. Everything good comes from God, so we can say of them all, the Lord has done great things for us. The more we remember, the more we have a hopeful measure for the future. We remember and then we can pray with confidence in the times of sorrow and weeping, knowing that the God who did great things before can and will do great things again. But the Israelite song only had two parts. As Christians, we sing a three-part song. We can look back with joy at the great things God has done, but we can also look forward with joy because we know that one day there will be a new heaven and a new earth where God will be with us, wiping tears from our eyes, where death will be no more, mourning and crying and pain will be no more. At the moment, we stand between the two, praying with hope, not only because of the miracles of the past, but also the miracle that is the future through Jesus Christ. What good things can you look back on? What made you laugh and shout with joy? What great things has God done for you? Today, let's remember with joy and using that as our measure of the great things God will do, pray with confidence and hope. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we praise you for the great things you have done for us and the sure hope of the future. 
As we stand in a time of struggle between the two, we call out to you to restore us and turn our sorrow into joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit and to the glory of God the Father. Amen.